Nice. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Ooh, blowing the cobwebs this morning, coming up there. Oh yeah. Oh, a bit of any luck. That cloud will push further down into the glen, but it's still very, very nice. It's unbelievable this morning. That pastel sky. Wow. Different shades on the mountains as well. Across there is the, uh, the Anarchy Ridge. Behind me, that's Um, but in Nambian, forget the mountains here. Whew. Yeah, oh, tired, that's for sure. All right, I think I found my composition, what I'm after. Don't really go any higher, really, otherwise, I'll probably miss that sun flare coming up. But you can see the path as it winds down there, maybe. I'll, uh, push further up I think but yeah fantastic see you soon That was quite an epic sunrise. Uh, um, yeah, so a lot of you have been asking me uh, about my settings and uh, how am I, am I taking my picture and what my equipment am I using. So I'm just going to run you th through my camera and my setup, what I've got at the minute. So if I bring the GoPro in a bit more. Uh, what I'm using, I use uh, three sorts of filters. I use uh, a Lee, a Case or an EC filter. Uh, they're all uh, 100 by 150, so they all fit into my case K9 filter holder system. Um, I'm shooting on a Sony G lens, uh, 105 to 24 mil, or 24 mil to 105 lens. Uh, Sony A7R2 uh, is a really good camera, and I thought about upgrading to the three or the four, but it does does the job. This camera it really does. 
and obviously on an L bracket as well. So my shot this morning I got, um, I'm shooting on F16, I want everything from the foreground to the uh, horizon in focus. Uh, I've got hard grad in for the sky. I'll show you what hard grad is. So if I bring this up here and put that in front of the GoPro like so, that's what it looks like. Uh, for that shot there, yeah, F16, uh, ISO 100, and I was shooting at one eighth of a second, and it did go down to uh, two seconds at one point because I had it on aperture mode, uh, and, and that's what I mainly shoot on when I'm actually shooting landscapes. I'll just throw it on aperture, unless I'm doing waterfalls or anything like that, and I'll throw it on a manual, slow the shutter speed down, and uh, yeah, straightforward that one. And uh, the best way to, I think, do panoramics, you don't need a wide angle lens. Turn your camera horizontal, get your tripod nice and level, and pan it round, taking sh multiple shots. You do have to make sure you want at least 20% overlap in every single frame you're taking. But yeah, absolutely fantastic this morning. Brilliant. Worth the effort and climb up here this morning. Fantastic. So I've actually just moved my camera around and I'm just focus focusing on uh, the sisters at the minute with the cloud inversion at the background. And in the distance you can just about see, uh, let me try and get my finger on it for you. Just up here somewhere is Ben Lomond. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful views this morning, absolutely beautiful. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. And uh, no doubt I will be showing you absolutely more of Glencoe, especially from high up. So uh, do hit that like, subscribe, because it does, I mean, does help me concentrate on future episodes for years and uh, so hit that like and subscribe. But as for Glencoe, I will never get bored here. This is my happy place and uh, never get bored of Glencoe. So much to show you, absolutely loads. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and uh, enjoy the images. See you soon.